night nurse Susan. So you say we have our first healthy set of twins. Okay, I'm gonna bring you to another location. Sweet babies. Okay, we'll find out if your boys are girls and who your mammy is in a sec. There we go. They both had their navels dipped. It's Harmony. So this would be her second or third lambing. Second lambing, H. And she's a ram lamb and a yo lamb. The other yo with the premature one is over there in the corner. But they have neighbors now. She's a good mama. I'm gonna go get her some nuts. She has fresh water, hay. She's got fresh water and hay as well. And I'm gonna go and get her some sheep nuts. But she is being such a good mama. She ate her nuts. Okay, I'm going back to bed. I'll see you in a few hours. I know she's a good mama, so he'll get bottle fed. Look, the neighbor looking in, seeing what's going on. <laughs> Poking her white nose through. Oh, I love seeing a lamb do that shake. That body shake is a good sign. Yeah, looking at the neighbors. Okay, night night ladies. No, I've fed you food. You're licking up the last scraps. These two are now brought out. The ram lamb, I am not going to keep as a ram lamb. His, uh, I'm only going to select the best of the best. And his breeding and his markings aren't up to par. So, whereas she is a marked beautifully. This is the yo lamb with the orange tag. And the ram lamb has the blue tag. Listen to a cow in the distance. There we go. So they're out in the garden paddock. And over there, under the cherry tree, is the other yo with her lamb. Such a beautifully marked yo lamb. Yeah, you're a real sweetie. You're a real sweetie. Beautifully marked, four little bobby socks and a white tip to the tail. Perfectly marked little yo lamb. I was literally turning out the yo that had lambs last night and came back and found this little girl had had a lamb. She dropped it right out. I'd say that's a huge single. She's probably not gonna have another lamb. I isolated her out this morning. I heard her muttering and I left. These are the two yo's that got lame yesterday. 
So I'm gonna treat them. But, so she had babysitters while she was on her end. So we don't know if this is a boy or a girl yet. You're literally just born. His head is so heavy, can't lift it. Oh, I'm being headbutted. What are you headbutting me for, Judy, huh? Very good, well done. Well done. Stonker. I'm gonna see what you are, if you're a boy or a girl. And you are a, oh, you're a boy. A little ram lamb. I'm gonna go and get the iodine to do the navel. She's a very nervy yo. So you have to go slow. Okay, the opening to the gate is on the right and it comes towards you. So unbolt and pull the gate towards you and walk through and go to your right. Inca, no. Go up the slope a bit. Keep going a bit further because I want to get it away from the fence. Now put it down on the ground gently. And then come back here. He's such a big lamb, he's having a hard time riding himself. Oh, there you go. Oop. There you go. Oh, he's such a frol big flump of a lamb. Very proud mama. Mm -hmm. Inca. That's the silver one. And it's going in somewhere. There we, oh, nope. Maybe it's a predator to tawny mining bees. Oh, look. Oh, it's hunting for a location to build a nest. Could be a carpenter bee. I'm not good on my bee names. Right, there's a tawny mining bee. This fella fell down.
this? You found another different one. Small, tawny. Where? Right there. No, that is a small one. It could just be young. No, they don't really do young. They do male and female <clears throat> uh, in the bee family. The males tend to be small and the females tend to be big in the bees. I could be wrong, but I think that's generally what it is. So if you see a small one... I think ones with larvae typically, yeah, they have... Once they pupate, that's out. It's the partial metamorphosing ones that... Have. Like what? Phasmids. Who's that? Phasmids. Uh, stick insects. In the oh, stick insects. Yeah. You're so beautiful. I am partial to tawny mining bees. It's so lovely to have them all out. Picked up the fallen gate. Come on, dogs. Let's leave them alone. There's a big tub of water right here. If they want to drink. So they don't have to go far out of the shelter of the shed from the rain. The other guy is in that very dry place up there against the wall. And they've had their dinner. They will have to survive the night now. Look at the cherry blossoms. Look at 
fresh bale of hay. Ah. <laughs> Some are heading out thinking they're going to escape the back out into the field. Oh, it's Kestrel, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 